Oh my god! Everything bad about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Yeah. Six world, give me one more chance. Face that's good, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got to talk about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and everything wrong with the game. Now, listen, I do gotta put up a disclaimer, my guy. I'm not saying Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a bad game, but I am saying that it does have its problems and it needs to be addressed. ASAP, my guy. And I'm also not saying that these things are not fixable. They are all actually fairly fixable. So we're just addressing the problems with the game and how we're going to actually fix them. But anyways, listen, do me a favor. Look in the mirror. See that nigga right there? The nigga that's not subscribed? Stupid. The nigga with no quirk? The nigga that be popping sensu beans at Diddy parties? See him right there? Hit your dislike and say goodbye. My guy, you're one of those. But if you lit lit, you know what to do. That being said, I'm let's get right into the video. Hey! Now, although Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was released not even a week ago, we do have some problems that we do have to address and actually get fixed ASAP No Rocky. First thing is, 45 seconds to pick your character in DP battles is actually diabolical. I don't know how many times I picked the wrong team because I didn't have enough time. Now, again, this could be an easy fix. At about, I don't know, 15 to 30 more seconds and we're actually good. Or instead of making the character list vertical, just make it more horizontal where all the characters fit on one screen and we don't have to actually scroll down. This is actually a very easy fix, but it does get very annoying when you're going online and you can't find the character you want in time. Now look, I understand the game is new and it's early and, you know, we're having trouble picking characters because there's so many characters we want to try out. But I do feel like later on the time won't even be that big of an issue, but if they could add more time to it, it would be great. Or, like I said, make the character selection screen more horizontal. That way they all fit on one screen. We don't have to scroll down and we just have an easier time picking our characters and getting into DP battle with no issues and not picking the wrong characters and having the wrong team. But yeah, very easy fix. Not a huge deal, but something that does get annoying. And speaking of DP battle, I do feel like the DP level should be raised about two levels. I feel like we're trying to squeeze in like little characters in there because we don't have enough DP to pick who we want. I understand it's ranked and it's supposed to be like that. But I also understand that they could possibly be doing season ranked as well, meaning that maybe next season the DP rank will be 20, or next season it might be 10, you know what I'm saying? They could make it a seasonal rank issue, but then again, I'm not sure about that. But I do feel like adding two more points, or maybe even three, would be making people feel a little bit more comfortable using their characters online, and also just making it a little bit more fun using all the characters we actually want to use. This one might have a little bit mixed reviews on it, but let me know how y'all feel about that definitely in the comment section below if you do play dp battles do you guys feel like it's perfect or do you guys not mind having an extra two or three more points for your dp level teams let me know my guy another issue dragon ball sparking zero has is the blue screens now listen the game ain't even been out a week yet and i've been blue screened five times my guy on stream five times one time was very diabolical by the way i was literally playing this random he was beating me up and my shit just blue screen it looked like i rage quit i didn't rage quit now i wanted to right i wanted to rage quit but i didn't so actually it's it looks bad on you if you actually do get blue screen if you're losing but it's actually crazy that five times since the game been out i've been blue screen that's actually very very bad and i do understand anime games do have this issue like shinobi striker my hero there's a lot of anime games out there that actually have the blue screen issue i thought sparking zero wouldn't have it but i'm also not surprised that it does but i do hope that they actually fix this issue because it is annoying to get blue screen and speaking of blue screens we got to talk about the rage quitting issue in dragon ball sparking zero in case you guys don't know there's a lot of people out there right now rage quitting in sparking zero and it's actually very annoying that this is even a problem in this game in 2024 now listen i ain't gonna lie to y'all not to compare this game to pokemon but pokemon actually has a rank system as well and when you do rage quit not only do you lose your rank when you rage quit but also you're banned online for 30 minutes i don't know why why this is not something that's happening in sparking zero if you rage quit or force close your app you should be losing your rank when you go back online and also you should be penalized you should not be able to go back online and fight someone else after you just rage quit you should be banned for at least 30 minutes to an hour 100 if you're rage quitting on a fighting game you should not be given the opportunity to hop right back online and do that to someone else if you lose you're pretty much being gifted for rage quitting like yeah you're not losing your 
rank. You're not being penalized online. You're pretty much just, yeah, I'm gonna rage quit, hop back online. And if I fight this nigga again and I beat him, I'm not gonna rage quit because I won. I'm gonna take his points. I feel like that's really petty, weird, delusional behavior. I know there's people out there that do it. If they're over the age of 16, say goodbye. There's something about you we don't know about. Matter of fact, my bad. Not, if you're over the age of 14 doing this, my nigga, you're just a weirdo. I'm gonna be real with you. If you're rage quitting in 2024, there's something about you we don't know about, my guy. But 100%, this is a problem in Sparking Zero. A lot of people are dealing with rage quitters and they are not being penalized whatsoever. So please, Bandai Namco, to fix this problem, penalize them niggas and also take their rank away, my guy. Matter of fact, if they rage quit more than like, if they force close app like five times in an hour just reset them back to d5 literally just give them back d5 because they trash they're trash you know what i'm saying like them niggas trash bro like set them back to d5 and then make them sell their copy to gamestop and make a review on ign or whatever it may be that the game's trash all right get them niggas out of here they don't deserve to play the game say goodbye another issue i do have with sparking zero is gonna be gohan black i didn't make a video on this but i do want to touch on it again gohan black is a character in story mode that is not a playable character in game now a lot of people were telling me that well they they looked in the data files and Bo Go Go gohan black was there what the fuck is that gonna do for me why, why do i care i know he's in the files in the game but what, what is that gonna do for me bro why is he not a playable character now some people are saying that people are worried about dlc but they're not worried about the free updates like okay i get it a free update right but why is he not in the base why is a character that is in the base game story not playable in the base game you guys keep talking about these free updates which is cool i understand free updates and dlcs are different things but why is he not in the base game as a playable character if he's in the base game as a villain in the story mode it doesn't make any sense to me people are coping with this i don't know why they do this but be honest with yourself are you actually not upset that gohan black's not a playable character are you actually gonna sit here and glaze the fact that he's not playable come on my god be for real now look i'm not saying that the game is bad for this i'm saying it was a dumb decision to not make him a playable character now he definitely will be playable in the future right they're not just gonna put that character in the game and not make him playable now i don't know if he's gonna be a skin or outfit or whatever he may be but i wouldn't mind having him as an outfit for gohan or goku black i really wouldn't mind that but it is kind of a slap in the face to put that character in the game in the story mode but not make him a playable character on launch that is actually delusional and it's 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 just weird it's just a weird decision to do i don't know what that's about i'm hoping that he will end up in the shop one day or something like that but again it's very just weird it, it was a problem for me it still is i'm sorry but it is what it is my guy i also want to talk about customization and in-game shop in-game shop is also very 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 mid once you reach level 20 you see everything that's available in the shop and the shop really doesn't have much in it i'm not gonna lie to you guys yeah it does have a lot of playable characters but i was expecting more outfits accessories um just a lot more customization and that's another thing that's kind of wrong with the game the customization is also very very weak in dragon ball raging blast 2 you were able to add an angel halo to any character that you wanted you were able to edit the aura color for any character you wanted raging blast and sparking zero are made by the same company spike chunsaw i was expecting more customization of course we didn't get that whatsoever now again this could end up in a future update where they update the shops maybe it'll be like shinobi striker where there's bi-weekly updates i'm praying for that this may not get the shinobi striker treatment but may get the xenoverse treatment where they're updating the game i don't know every six to eight months and then that's when they update the shop that's a possibility as well but that is in my opinion a little bit too long to be waiting for new things to come into the game again maybe the dlc as well might not only just add characters but also add more things in the shop but all this honestly Honestly does is make me want an actual battle pass in the game that way we could actually not only grind and rank on this game but also just grind a battle pass and exp while battling our friends or entering tournaments it would be a way better effect on this game in my opinion because then we could get our hairstyles or outfits or aura colors or accessories that way which would be really really cool i do like the idea of having a battle pass in this game some people don't like that which is kind of weird to me because people be like oh i don't want a battle pass but they'll pay 20 dollars for gohan black I, I what so what i'm hearing is you don't want to pay 10 dollars for a battle pass where you get like 30 items right instead you rather pay 20 to 15 dollars for a character it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever but then again it's the anime community i don't expect much from these niggas but yeah it's actually very weird that we have no battle pass in this game not weird but it, i was expecting it right i was expecting it because there's so many customization options in the dragon ball universe there's so many accessories so many aura colors so many items there's so much 
in this universe of Dragon Ball for it not to be showing up in this game's customization, in my opinion. Like, where is my Bojack outfit, Gohan? Where is my Bojack outfit, Trunks? I heard these things were in the data files, but then again, what the fuck am I gonna do with that information, bruh? Like, if Bojack is in the base game, then so should the outfits that were involved in that movie. I just, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand, but hey, man, it is what it is. It is not looking too good, in my opinion, but then again, the game is new. The game just came out. I understand that. We're gonna give it more time, but in two weeks, if the shop does not change two to three weeks if the shop is the same that is going to be a bigger problem for me in my opinion not saying the game's bad but just looks bad in my opinion and the last thing i do want to talk about is the yajirobe sensu bean in case you guys don't know yajirobe is a character in the game that has the ability to pop a sensu bean which gives him back all his health nope Oh my god! Fucking hate these weird ass niggas using these stupid ass characters, bro. I feel like that is also very broken and needs to be patched. I think that it should be losing its effect every time he pops a sensu bean, right? So every time he does it, maybe 20% of the health doesn't go back. I would appreciate that more, but then again, it is ranked. I understand people are like, well, just let it be what it is, and that's cool. If you guys like that it's full health the entire game, let me know in the comment section below. But if you're like me, you're like, dog, this needs to be nerfed, definitely comment below. I feel like it needs to be nerfed, my guy. That's just too much, and like people just spam it and just stall out the time. It's just corny. I don't like it. I don't really fuck with it. But there's people out there that love that character, and that's cool. Dab me up, my guy. You know what I'm saying? You eating sensu beans, literally, fat ass, but... <laughs> bro come on man we gotta like this this is going too far man I, I think it needs a patch but it is what it is though right so those are all my issues with dragon ball sparking zero everything quote unquote bad about the game i'm hoping that some of these things get fixed because they are easy fixes right these things are not unfixable things they can be fixed with literally an uh, update literally that's it but um we'll see what happens in the future my god thank y'all for watching the video and definitely comment below if i'm tweaking or y'all like nah you spitting right now Appreciate y'all, boys. Be safe, be easy, and I'll see y'all, boys, on the next one. Hey! Pretend, fuck you, bitch, I win. I can't name one thing I fear right now. They said I